on family members of former Boko Haram fighters currently undergoing de-radicalization and rehabilitation have met at the Operation Safe Corridor Camp in Gombe State. This is part of the efforts of the Nigerian government to reintegrate these repentant members of terrorist groups back into society. Correspondent Larry Adeyemi witnessed the emotional visit and has this report. Tears and joy, pain and reconciliation. It was a day of raw emotions for these de-radicalized men and their relatives. Some of them have been away for up to seven years and their membership of terrorist organizations is hard to forget. Community leaders are reaching out to welcome them back. Your visit to this camp is part of the program we have arranged for them to reconcile between you and them. There's nothing like when you have given up hope on somebody and you now come and see that that person has been rehabilitated. You are having very meaningful discussions with a relative that has been in the bush. You can see the palpable um, difference. There's somebody that even said they are better than you know, before they left home. They have been reformed, they have been de-radicalized, and now they are set to be integrated to this um, community. In 2014, Ibrahim Issa left behind two wives and children in Madagali when he was compelled to join Boko Haram. This family visit and reassurances from his brother has strengthened his resolve to return home and pick up the pieces of his life. Are you happy to go back? Yes, sir. We engage the traditional leaders of their communities. We engage the local government structure. And the Borno State Governor has put in place a committee that will receive them, um, create, sensitize them on what is happening outside, and gradually reunite them with their families. It is a truly emotional day for these men and their family members. Some of them have not seen for over seven years. The essence of this visitation is to give them hope that after over six months of de-radicalization and rehabilitation, that society will be willing to reintegrate them. Landry Adiemi, TVC News.